Dumb steps on pussies. It's time for us to stop acting like this isn't the problem. Gun nuts want to say that mental health is a problem, that acting that way is a problem. Well, guns are the problem. And it's time for people to understand that. Now, I'm going to read you an op-ed piece from a former United States Army soldier entitled, I served in the U.S. Army for 13 years and AR-15s are meant for combat. I served in the U.S. Army for 13 years as a chaplain assistant and had been, who had to be proficient in weapons to protect the chaplain in combat. And I can tell you this, weapons' mission is to kill and destroy multiple people in a short amount of time. It is an, an, a fact that the AR-15 were meant for purposes of war. And you can read it in this in an NPR article. I couldn't believe the horrific news that 19 children and two teachers from an elementary school in Irvindale, Texas. I'm sick and tired of the same old debates and arguments about the weapons of war most commonly used in mass shootings in this country, the AR-15. There are so many steps Congress and the President can take, like universal background checks, banning 3D printed guns or ghost guns, or maybe even closing down the military supply, uh, surplus supply sale. What on earth would civilians need with AR-15s, body armor, and camouflage? In the last month, we've seen two 18-year-olds with AR-15s and body armor commit mass murder. Speaking of which, why are gun laws so loose for 18-year-olds? They can't buy a beer, but they can go out and buy a weapon of war and commit grand acts of violence. I get that 18-year-olds can enlist in the military and go to combat. However, before they're even allowed to go to basic training, they have to take a mental evaluation to make sure that they are mentally fit to deploy. This is a completely different situation than a newly 18, turned 18-year-old 18 boy buying a gun off the street. The age to buy guns needs to be raised. Truthfully, the most important thing the United States government can do is ban assault weapons altogether. That would make it harder for the bad guys to have access, legal access to them illegally. Sandy Hook wasn't enough. Will Urbandale be? Kids from elementary school are not enemy combatants. They don't need to wonder if they're going to get killed going to school from a weapon of war. This nation has a sick gun epidemic that needs to be eradicated. If we are as pro-life as we say we are in this country, then we need to value children more than we value guns. I am calling on President Biden and Congress to immediately act to, pre to pass legislation banning assault weapons. That means we have to end, the, end or exempting the filibuster in the Senate to do, to do that, then so be it. First of all, this was written by David M. Wiseman, and I want to thank him for his service to our country in peace and war. But right now, we need to get this through our heads. All the same stupid excuses that the right wing and gun nuts want to scream at us and yell at us about are nonsense. And the idea and their ideas of arming teachers is not going to help anything. The last two gun mass shootings in Buffalo and Irvindale were done by 18-year-old kids who had access to military-grade weapons, not to mention the fact that they were both body-armored. So one small pop gun isn't going to make any kind of difference. The police, there were police officers, 19 of them in Irvindale, and none of them broke in. And 22 children, and 22 people, 18 of them children, paid the price. The fact is this, every time something like this happens, the gun lobbyists and all of them 
want to scream at the top of their lungs, what the good guy with the gun. Nothing's going to help with a good guy with a gun if he's wearing body armor. The police response there in Irvingdale didn't happen. Kids were still killed. And as of this video, we've heard that Vice President Kamala Harris is going to push an assault weapons ban and it needs to happen. But until it does happen, I'm still going to ask the question, what sane person, if at least they think they're sane, but what sane person needs a weapon of war to protect themselves? Now, I have been trained in firearms, but the biggest weapon I've ever been trained on was a 9mm pistol, and that's more than enough. What will I need with an AR-15? Seriously, what will I need for it? What would any civilian need for it, unless you're planning to kill a lot of people? The American gun nut out there needs to understand that they need to put our children first, instead of their guns. Now, they, now at the end of this article, I said, well, he said, that if we're really a pro-life country, then we need to value children more than we value guns. The gun nut in this country needs to understand that. And to me, quite simply and quite honestly, they don't. They honestly don't. And that's sad. CTP, you know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.